you know, we can't get started without my Super Herbalife as usual. What's up, freaks? I'm gonna get started here in a second. Give you guys a second to get settled in. As you know, every Tuesday here, live 215 episode of Steve Says. Today is episode number 38. Holy shit, that's a lot of me fucking babbling up here, right? Today we're going to talk about how to see through all the bullshit in life and just in the world in general. How to see through the facade and the fakeness. How to see through it, how to conquer it, how to overcome it. That's what we're going through. To see through the lies, the deceit, in the health and fitness and in the real world. How to basically be free, be yourself and be successful in the long run no matter what's going on around you or what obstacles or imaginary obstacles are in your way. Steve says, you know... Some people will hate, but most of you will be able to relate. Bring in the fire every fucking second of every second. We're always here to help you adapt and overcome, become a better version of yourself, get your shit together, stop being a little bitch, trust the process, and of course, making no excuses. If you have any questions, comments, you can put them right here into this into the section right here. I'm looking at your comments here on anything, whether even if it's not related to this, you have questions on fitness, nutrition. Or the douchebags are going to be talking about in this segment here coming up today. So every week, 2.15, Tuesdays, again. So today we're going to go be going over how to see through all the bullshit in life and the world, through all the lies and the deceit that you see in, in your everyday life, in the health and fitness world, how to basically be free, be yourself, be successful, no matter what's going on around you or whatever obstacles are in your way. So what's up, freaks? Let's let's get rolling. So there, there's people out there that don't like you. They they want what you have, they're jealous of you, and they they would like nothing more than to see you fail. That's pretty much the way it is. And that's all over the place. The scary part is you're surrounded by these freaking assholes all day, every day. They're all around you, they're right in front of your face. They are everywhere in your life, in at work, at school, there's strangers, strangers out in public that just see you and the way you carry yourself and Probably they just they just want to see your downfall and they don't even fucking know you. But these freaking people are also a little closer to you than that probably. And you might know something even a little better. They might be right there in your inner circle or even worse, in your own freaking home. Now these, these fuckwads, they want to see you fall. They want to see you fall hard. And when you do, they're going to be right there to ask you, oh, do you need help with anything? Is there anything you need? How can I help you? Oh, I feel so bad for you. All this other shit. All while smiling on the inside of their devious fucking spider crawling snake skin. So today we're going to discuss how to uncover these devious bullshitters. Expose their true fucking smell. And and show you exactly how to become invincible around their, their freaking nastiness. The first sign of this treachery and deceit. You know we like to play these word games. So I give you a couple of hints. You try to figure out what word we're talking about here. Let's see if you can figure it out. This first one is showing or implying uh, usually like a patronizing descent uh, from dignity or showing a superiority or acting in a way that shows a superior attitude. See if you can figure out what we're talking about. I'll keep giving you some more hints. It could also be thought of as arrogant, patronizing, snooty, snobbish, snotty motherfucker, uppity, yippity, all that shit, or just the feeling of superiority. If anyone thinks they can figure that out, we like to play a game. Whoever gets the most usually gets a t-shirt or, or some kind of prize. And even if you're not in the area, because I know some people from out of the area that are watching, we'll even mail that shit out to you. So if you think you know what we're talking about here, the word we're looking for is the first sign of this treachery and deceit from these people that we're talking about that are there around and you're in, probably in your inner circle or around. They might even be strangers in school, in work, wherever, in the gym, in the gym, definitely not in in peak physique, of course, that's why we do things a bit differently, but just in general, in those commercial gyms. We're going to give you a lot of examples of that in a second. So again, showing or implying, usually patronizing descent from dignity or superiority. If anyone can tell me what that word is, we don't have time for you to wait. you got three seconds while I get one more sip, because we're just getting started. I'm just starting to get freaking fired up. And no one got that word. And I know we're on a delay, and I always say it, and then someone pops it up. And then you claim you did it before I said it because your guys are on a slight delay whenever we go live here. But our first word is condescending. Conda freaking sending. Basically think of a parent who's talking to their grown ass child who's like 20 or 25 or 30 or even 40. 
but they're talking to them like they're still a little child. That's what it means. That's what condescending is. Kind of, it has a lot of different meanings. To me, condescending is like is talking from a superior frame of mind without trying to make it seem superior, almost in like a tone of "I told you so," as if I knew so much fucking better. And like, oh, but this is the way it should be. And you know, as they state some obvious bullshit and some obvious facts that everyone already knows, but they speak to you as if it's some brand new, like earth shattering, fucking life altering information or help that they're giving you or assistance they're giving you because it came from them. And they clearly know better than you. And you know, you are certainly more of a dumbass than them. So a condescending person speaks to you as if you're just a fucking dummy. They have, they have, they have forgotten more than you've ever learned is the way they talk to you. They will guide your patheticness with their infinite wisdom of pure fucking bullshit and lies and fakeness and deceit. That's what a condescending person, that's where they're going to speak to you. That's why you could see how they could be right there in your own freaking home or in your inner circle of friends or at work or at school or wherever. Or it can be a stranger that just bump, runs into you and that's still how they're going to, how they're going to approach you. When you start to encounter this behavior, just run the other fucking way or Better yet, just smash them in the fucking head. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to be responsible for it when you smash someone in the head. I don't want to be responsible for it. And you go say, Steve said for me to go smash someone in the head. So don't really smash them in the head. But no, really, smash them in the fucking head. Really, seriously, just fucking smash them. It'd feel a lot better. Anyway, I hear and see examples of this all the freaking time. I met with a client the other day who was, who was going to a commercial gym. And the trainers there were so fucking holier than thou. They were, they were you know, looking upon all the... All the pathetic members and clients and even joking and laughing and talking shit about them. You know, looking dep- up, down upon them because they were weak or they weren't as good a shape as them. Or, you know, they didn't know their muscle groups or what a fucking tricep was or some shit. Or maybe they were overweight. Or how do you not know all this? You know, they're looking at them because they don't know all this great wisdom that this fucking snot nose trainer in this commercial, you know, gym knows that, or that they think they know. How do, they ha- how do they not know this stuff? So they'll look down upon them. Condescending people try to make you feel inferior. They try to make you doubt yourself or make you insecure. This could be in a, a work setting, home setting, or like I just said, in a gym setting. You might, even, you might even be doing fucking awesome at work or awesome in the gym or whatever you're doing. But that condescending fuckstick in, your, in, your, in the cubicle next to you at work or in the gym next to you, working out next to you, will try to drill into your head how fucked up you are, or how you suck at whatever you're doing, how they could do it better, they know better, they're going to tell you how to do better, they're going to show you how to do it better, you might even be in better shape than them, you might even be more successful than them, but they're going to talk down to you, and try and act, you know, because they're the expert, or whatever, they will do it in a way, like they're trying to help you, like the trainer in those foo-foo fucking gym that I'm talking about, that I, I was talking about the other day also, with their little fucking umbrellas and their water bottles and their fancy little spas and, and all the expensive little fucking treadmills and hamster wheels and shit that people go on and, and get zero results at and have zero community and zero culture. But that's a whole nother fucking story. But anyway, these condescending people, their true purpose is it basically is they are your freaking enemy. A friend, a friend might be kind of uh, condescending towards you. And we know about friends from last week. We talked, we went on about friends last week. Basically, we came to the conclusion, conclusion. We don't need them. Fuck friends. The F word is the nastiest word in the English language. And I'm sure a lot of you have, have experienced that in your life. But anyway, it's be, not be just because they're your enemy, but they're also in competition with you. They are your competition. The trainer doesn't want you to be in shape just like them. The friend doesn't want you to be happier or more successful or make more money than them. Or if you are overweight, your coworkers don't want you to lose weight and become that sexy bitch around the office because they, then you might take away from some of their attention horridness that they just want to be the attention whore walking around and, and all that other bullshit. Condescending assholes have, have a few purposes in their agenda. They want to negate whatever it is that they're doing wrong. They want to deflect ne- negative attention off themselves and make fucking excuses. And we all know we hate fucking excuses. It's all over. It's surrounded. If you're anywhere near peak, you are surrounded by that shit. We hate fucking excuses. It's with this type of person, condescending people, it's always someone else's fault. They will lie. They will deceive. They will make themselves the fucking victim by belittling you, even becoming a fucking snitch or just clear, flat out making shit up just to divert attention away from their own fucked up true colors. The main reason for someone being condescending is goes right into the next word that we're looking for. And it's just a flow and it's a pattern. And if it doesn't make sense to you, it makes sense in my freaking head and you'll catch on in a second. So the next thing we're looking for is 
a person who pretends to have morals or even like religious beliefs or principles that he or she doesn't even actually possess themselves. A, a, you know, they don't even, they, they talk about the stuff, don't even do it. It's a simple one. It's an easy one. I'm sure you could figure this shit out. That just happened to you now? What just happened to you now? Kanisha, explain, explain, share your story. We want to hear about it. We want to hear about the fucking douchebags out there. Kanisha said, yep, this just happened to me now. So this condescending person, they have a condescending attitude because they are this next word we're looking for. They are pretending to have the morals and principles and values that they don't even possess, basically, is what it is. A person who is, is faking and, you know, something desirable or pub- publicly approved attitude, especially you know, want, and, and when in their private life, their opinions and statements are the complete opposite, is what we are looking for. Kanisha, I want to hear a story. What just happened to you? Tell the story. This, this next thing is an imposter, a phony, a freaking trickster, a cheat, a deceiver, a decoy, a fraud, a fucking pretender, a fucking quack is what this next one is. A condescending person is always, almost always, really, because they're so fucking foo-foo, they're so fucking high and mighty above you, talking down to you because they're so excellent, you're all fucked up, and they're not. They are always a fake, a phony, yes, and that is a... Freaking hypocrite is the word we're looking for. They are condescending towards you. You know why? Because they are trying to divert the attention of themselves because they're a fucking hypocrite. They're a fake. They have a smoke screen around everyone. They walk around like their shit don't stink. And they're basically a phony, a fraud, a quack, a pretender. It's, it's someone, uh, there's some quotes that I've, I've heard about it. I don't even remember who it was or whatever. Someone said it's better to be a sinner than to be a hypocrite. It, you know, that, it makes sense. That's some deep shit. You'd rather be a sinner than a freaking hypocrite. Anyway, we're moving on. Let's see if she's coworker trying to throw you under the bus in front of the boss. Of course, that's a condescending fucking hypocrite right there. And I'm going to go right in, in a second. We're going to give you the exact steps how to fucking overcome that person and just fucking demolish them, really. Because that person pretends to be your friend. They're really your enemy. But even further than that, they are your competition. They are competing with you. Not even just at work. They're just competing you on on status, on social status, on everything. They just want to they just want to compete with you for no fucking reason because they really act like they're so high and mighty, but they really feel a lot worse themselves. They try to give you low self-esteem to boost up their self-esteem, but that shit ain't going to work. So, anyway, the, a real person is is what are you doing behind the closed doors? What are you doing when no one is watching? How really hard are you training? How disciplined are you in nutrition when no one's watching? What are your real principles and values when there's no one around but your damn self? So anyway, that, that trainer at, that was judging you in that commercial gym, they go home and they eat fucking Taco Bell. They're living in their fucking parents' basement, sitting in their little tidy whities up their ass crack, playing fucking Nintendo with cheese doodle stands all over their fucking Star Trek t-shirt. But in the gym, they're looking down upon you, you mere fucking simpletons, you lazy, stupid, fat person, you know, who they know nothing about. They know nothing about your life. Or what adversity, both mental and physical, you might have been through and you're actually trying to overcome by coming to their stupid ass fucking place. They don't know, not understand all that and they don't care because they are a condescending fucking hypocrite is what they are. So don't go and tell me to go have some discipline and eat only fucking leaves and dirt when you're eating a triple bacon double mick fucking whopper with cheese and goat balls and all kinds of other shit. Don't tell me look at a a letter I wrote or something and tell me I spelled one letter wrong that was clearly a typo when you're a babbling fucking slang lol fucking wtf fucking speaking out little whatever those fucking things are that people text message you speak it out loud you illiterate fucking idiots but you're gonna then tell me when a letter is off or a letter's missing on something like fuck you If, if you have a fucking kabillion faults yourself don't make it your life's mission for for my few faults to be broadcast to the world, and if, if, you're, if, your phone ha- if your own house is a fucking mess, if it's trash, you're a fucking slob, how fucking dare you go and tell someone, or even attempt to talk down to, or even worse, give them some advice on training, or trying to train them, or teach them on how to clean a freaking house when your shit's a freaking mess, now that's a fucking hypocrite, don't tell me my ass stinks when you're fucking covered head to toe, inside and out, in fucking horse shit. A condescending hypocrite is seriously one step away from a complete, like, serious freaking psychopath. Really, think about it. Their entire existence is a lie. All fucking fake and manufactured. To make it worse, 
They're preaching about the same shit to someone else who isn't even a fraction to the level of fucked up in this as they are themselves in that same situation. Now that is really a sick, demented fuck. It's literally this, like one sneeze away from just an all out like medical psychopath is what they are. So like I was saying, this person is not only your enemy, they are also your competition. Not only are these condescending hypocrites your enemies, but they are your competition. Let those, let those fuckers worry about you while you're worried about fucking winning. That's how it should be. They're competing for your happiness. They're competing for your time, for your health. They're competing for your success, for your freaking mind. And they're competing for your positivity. They're freaking competing for your career, your money, your entire freaking life, your entire existence they're competing for. And they want to take you down, basically. You don't need to worry about what you need to do. You, you know, you just need to worry about what you need to do at home or at work or at the gym or in life. And if you take care of all your own shit the way you need to, then competition, your competition is irrelevant. Whether we're talking about literally your competition as like a business or just this douchebag that's in the office trying to throw you under the bus, like Kanisha just said, in front of the boss. No matter what it is, if you take care of your own shit, you do things the way you need to be doing, competition is irrelevant. We're going to go into, there are two simple steps to overpower these condescending, hypocritical, hypocritical comp- competition scumbags. Our first one, I'll give you a hint, see if you can figure out what the word is, if you're paying a freaking attention. Our first one could mean clear or clarity or translucent or having, I can't give, the, it's several different ways of, of doing it. I want to give it away, but easily seen through or recognized or detected. If you could figure out what that word is, this is the first simple step to overpower condescending hypocritical scumbags is what we're looking for here. Clarity, clear, translucent, lucid, basically seeing through it. I can't give you many more hints. You should be able to get that by now. But anyway, we got to keep rolling because I'm all fired up. You got two seconds while I take a sip of my Herbalife. Smile on your face and talking shit behind your back. Yes, of course they are. So the first way to overcome them yourself, how you, how you need to approach things and how you need to operate yourself is to be 100% transparent. Transparency. Like I was just saying, transparency could really mean, say it's a piece of glass, seeing through a piece of glass. But to me, a deeper level of transparency is not to see through it, but to see literally inside it. What is that glass made of? What is inside of the closet? I don't want to see through the closet. I want to see what's inside of it. What is the deep, dark secrets in there? And that's the way to do it, is to overcome these fuckwads, is to be completely transparent. Transparency is a way to overcome these a condescending fucker. I call it my eight mile theory it, with, when there's nothing to hide. So basically, when it's time, basically, uh, the, this thing is all about not, not covering anything up, not hiding anything, putting it all out on the table, basically. It's about being transparent, being yourself. And like I said, I call it the eight mile theory. Have you ever seen that movie, Eight Mile, with Eminem? He has his little rap battle at the end, right? He goes first. He says everything that's fucked up. Everything he knew that the other guy would try to use against him. How they beat his ass, they banged his girlfriend, they sold crap to his mom. They had nothing left to say to him after he put all his own shit on the table. So if I come out and I say, this is me, this is who I am. If I wave my maniac freak fucking flag in the air, say I was the poorest kid in school. I'm a social outcast. I have zero fucking friends. I was a fucking criminal when I was a teenager, a fucking menace. I've been to jail dozens of times from ages 12 to 19. Everyone hates me and I hate everyone. If I throw all that on the table, if I come out right off the bat and put that shit on the table, nothing anyone can ever say or do can have any effect on me. Someone told me once, If you ever put yourself out there and you want to make it in the world and be successful, you need to have thick skin. And that's basically what it is. Put your shit on the table. Put it out there. Now what is left for you could possibly do to me? What can that condescending, hypocrite, bullshit freak possibly do or say if my shit is out there? It's already there. I don't give a shit. There's nothing left you could do. Now that makes me fucking bulletproof. Anyway, the next step. So that was being transparent. The next step that we need to go through is... Something, another way you need to operate, if you could figure this out, I'll give you a couple of hints. It could mean accuracy, credibility, credibility, legitimacy, trustworthiness, truthfulness, realness, or not false or copy, genuine, real. This is what we're looking for. Representing your true nature of beliefs, true to yourself, or to the person that you, you proclaim you are or show out to the public, basically is what we're looking for. And what the word we're looking for is freaking authentic. 
So you need, so now you can overcome those condescending, hypocritical, competition scumbags by first being 100% transparent, like I just said, that whole eight mile theory, putting your shit out there on the table, and then authenticity is the next step. Being authentic, 100% authentic. Basically, you have to be, not just be yourself. Authentic doesn't mean only just being yourself. It has to be real, it has to be true which is basically the opposite of the hypocrite who's trying to drag you down. Or like Kanisha just said, that was trying to bury her in, in, under the, throw her under the bus in front of the boss. You cannot manufacture authenticity. So how do you remain authentic? You take action, not just by fucking talking. You actually take fucking action and massive fucking action. You have to be decisive. You have to live by an ethical code of conduct. You have to never let yourself become the poor little fucking victim running around there. You have to ap- apologize when you're wrong or when you're fucked up. You have to own up to your decisions. Own up to whatever you talk about. Own up to it. Own up to your actions. Especially own up to your fucking mistakes. Never accept any excuses. Never make any fucking excuses. You need to be positive all the freaking time, no matter what. No one can ever take away your thoughts or your positivity. No one can take that away from you. So you need to be a fucking leader. So to me, that's authenticity. You cannot defeat what you copy. You cannot defeat pure authenticity. It is impossible. So transparency is going to defeat condescending and authenticity is going to be the fucking kryptonite to the hypocrites. So transparent and authenticity combined, they make competition non-existent. There's no competition left. You threw it on the table. This is who I am. I'm going to operate according to this code that I say who I am and I'm going to be true to it and I'm going to fucking dominate. And it doesn't matter what the fuck anyone does or anyone says around you or this motherfucker that tried to throw you under the bus in front of the boss. It doesn't even matter because you're transparent, you're authentic, so it doesn't fucking matter what anyone says around you or what anyone tries to do around you to stop you. It doesn't matter. You are real, you are positive, you are making shit happen, and not even the biggest pile of fucking bullshit can compete with you. So there is no competition. You're, you're doing what needs to be done to get your desired outcome, and you are fucking bulletproof. No lies or deceit or belittling or condescending or hypocrites talking down to you. No negativity can affect you. You're fucking invincible and you are fucking awesome. And this is why I come on here every week because this is a place where I could be myself. I could be the true me and I could broadcast it to the fucking world because I like who I am. And if someone doesn't like who I am, they can get to the back of the long fucking line because it's a long line of those people who don't like me and I couldn't give a fuck. And it's a whole long line of those condescending, hypocritical, competition, motherfucker, back of the line, because I don't care, because I'm going to be transparent and authentic, and that makes the competition none. It's non-existent, and I don't give a fuck about it. So, that's what we have, all we have today. Anyway, you have any questions, comments, you can put them here in the bottom. I will personally get back to you. If not, we will see you soon. You know we're here every Tuesday. Steve says... 2.15, talking about real world shit, real world situations to help you become a better version of yourself every freaking day, how to stop being a little bitch and you know all the rest and how to not make any freaking excuses. I'll talk to you guys later. No excuses.